Ripley's Believe It or Not. The World Trade Center is just part of the skyline. For a young mountain climber named George Willig, however, it was an irresistible challenge. You are trespassing on private property. In May of 1977, as amazed New Yorkers watched, Willig set out to do what no man had done before. Although police officers attempted to convince him to quit, Willig completed the climb, 110 stories, 1,350 feet above Manhattan. Willig used gadgets like this when he climbed all the way to the top. What he did was risky, but he was confident that with these, he could make it. Here's how they work in the grooves of the building. Slip in, press, lock. Slide up, press, lock. His weight was fully supported by the straps attached to the locking mechanism and to the harness that went around him. He wasn't in any danger, or so he said. The fact is that his climb was a criminal act. Not only was he trespassing, he was also endangering the people below. That's what the police said when they arrested him. Uh, while I was doing it, I was uh, saying to myself, I don't believe it, I'm actually doing this after all this planning, and I was just, I was euphoric. As suitable punishment for Willig's crime, the court levied a fine. One cent for each story climbed. Actually, we had a great time. For George Willig, the climb was well worth being arrested for. His determination is something that other climbers would understand. For them, that's what buildings and mountains are for. Willig used mechanical aids to conquer a skyscraper.